all, good afternoon, evening, morning, whatever time it is that you're watching me, because I'm not exactly sure which time that you're watching me. So, hello, welcome to One Man's Faith. My name is Neil Orne, and I'm going to be with you for the rest of this hour. And hey, don't turn the dial. We're going to look at some great things. So I just want you to know, um, uh, by way of announcement, we ha I, I have one announcement, and that is... February 2nd, there it is, February 2nd, we'll be showing the movie called Little Boy. So 7 o'clock, bring somebody, come on out, and, and enjoy a good flick, all right? So that's, uh, oh, 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 man, we got, hey, there are some things getting ready to happen. Um, January 29th, which I believe is a Friday, at least it should be, unless I've got the wrong day. I'm going. I'm just going. I'm just going to check real quick. Um, January. Does that sound right? 29th. Yes, January 29th. Yeah, um, at the Nye County Coalition Building, there will be a worship and prayer, and possibly a mock caucus at 6.30. So mark it on your calendars. It's, it'd be a great time. It's, the emphasis is not on the caucus. The emphasis is on prayer and praying for, praying for our nation, praying for the coming election that, you know, that will be in, be in November. So the 29th, 6.30, Nye County Coalition Building. Um, Come on out and let's and let's just worship the Lord and pray and just seek the Lord. You know, I've got to say, don't don't vote by party or favorite. Okay, seek the Lord and ask Him. Look at who's running and say, are they a man of God? And will they follow God? Some, you know, that the, we've had men of God who haven't totally followed God. They've listened more to advisors than they have going to the Lord. And, you know, that's what got Solomon in trouble. So I just want to, I just want to, there you go. I, I just want you to, I just want us, we've got to seek the Lord for, for this coming election. And if you haven't registered to vote, get out. And register to vote. Don't don't let this thing go by, and you not be a part of it. Okay, I believe, and I, and I think I've said this in the past. We're in the year of jubilee, which I think is 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 staving off the um, the calamity, or and yeah, what we've had so far is not really calamity. I think the year of jubilee is staving off that calamity, and we have the opportunity to change things and make things right. So the 29th at 630 at the Nye County Coalition, we will have a, it'll, it'll be, it's, it, it's, it's not sponsored, it's not sponsored by me. I, I, I wish I could take credit for it. But no, I'm just, I'm just letting you know, get the word out and come on out. And uh, I think they're also going to show what a caucus looks like. Because, because we don't vote as a primary, we elect our representative by, uh, by a caucus, um, the one that we feel will, should, should be the one that runs in the presidential campaign, okay? So it's, it's, it's a little different. But more than that, it's a time that we as Christians can come together for united purpose, and that is to seek the Lord, Lord Help us forgive America. Help us, Lord, to elect the, the right president that will follow you. Okay? All right. Um, there was one of the... I thought there was one other thing, but all, all right, I can't, I can't think of what it is right now. So, so that's it. The movie on the 2nd of February, but January 29th, the uh, prayer praise... Uh, Worship and, and, and mock caucus time at 6.30 at the Nye County Coalition Building. All right. Now, uh, to finish off the rest of this first part, we've been looking at 
the Old Testament, and we've talked about there are there are five books that are considered the law or the Pentateuch. That is Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. And we looked at the fact Genesis is about beginnings. All, <coughs> excuse me, all kinds of beginnings. From the beginning of the universe to the beginning of, you know, <laughs> I was going to say this later, but let me say it now. You know, you've got to have, I think, more faith to believe in the Big Bang Theory than you do in the fact that God created the heavens and the earth. I mean, I, I just cannot comprehend why we think something would explode and give us what it's given us. You know, and something else I was thinking about, do you realize this, that <clears throat> or let me put it this way. If it was a Big Bang, why are all the planets round? Think about that. If you explode something, if something explodes, you get all kinds of, uh, of, 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 of objects. Most of them aren't round. So if it was a Big Bang, why are all the planets and the stars, as we know, Round. See, I, you know that you know the, you know the things like that. And how how in the universe are gases going to collect in specific bodies that we call stars or suns to be able to form them? Come on, and they're billions. Like there are billions of planets. And yet we want to say that it wasn't God? That there wasn't a, an intelligent being behind what has been created? Wow. You've got more faith if you believe that. But, all right, that was a rabbit trail. Okay. Genesis is about beginnings. Exodus is about the Exodus. They exited out of Egypt. That's what, that's what Exodus, Exodus is about. Leviticus is about Levitical things or Levites, which means the law. Most of Leviticus are, and God said, this is what you will do if your neighbor kills your animal, okay? It, you know, you know, it's, 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 it's laws to live by, all right? Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers. Numbers is about numbering the, um, numbering the uh, Israelites by their, by their tribes uh, and by their families. It's also about, and the reason for that in case you'd like to know, is because the tribe of Levi ended up being set aside as the priesthood. God had originally intended to make the firstborn of each family of each tribe a Levi. But a skirmish occurred and the Levites were the ones that came and stood behind Moses when the rest of the people came against Moses at, at one period. I think it was at the waters of Meribah. Um, and so God said, okay, because you stood behind Moses, you're going to become the Levites. Now what he did was he had to count the other tribes so that if a tribe had more... Um, more, uh, and, and it was the men that was counted, had more men than the tribe of Levi did, that tribe had to redeem those people that were above. Like if the tribe of Judah had 500 more men than the Levitical tribe did, then each of those men had to be redeemed. They had to pay... 
I think 30 shekels. It may have been 35 shekels or something. But they had to pay money for those, for those men over that to redeem them because of the Levitical tribe. Okay, so another rabbit trail. But Numbers is about numbering and their wandering. Okay, Numbers is mainly about their wandering. But partially is, is the fact it's called Numbers because they numbered the people to know how many each tribe had to know how many fighting men they had, um, and to know how many to redeem based on the size of, of, the, of the Levitical tribe. Okay, so that's, that's Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy is called the second law. It's the last book that Moses wrote of the five, and he reiterated, in a sense, Leviticus. Added, added a little bit, straightened out some things, but basically it's, it's the second law. So that's your first five, five books of the Bible. Um, you can also remember part of Genesis, if you want to, Genesis uh, chapters 1 through 11 is creation, fall, flood, nations. Isn't that something? Just that simple thing, creation, fall, flood, nations. So the, God created the world, man fell, God didn't like the way it was going because most, almost all of mankind was, was wicked, so we had the flood, and then after that, Shem, Ham, and Japheth went to different parts and started creating nations because they, um, they started procreating and, and, and um, started developing people and they, and they became the nations. So that's a real easy way uh, to remember it. Uh, the next set of books in the Bible after, after the Torah, is, we go 5, 12, <laughs> 5, 5, 12. That's the breakdown of the whole, the whole Old Testament, okay? You got the Torah, then you got the next five, you got the next 12 are the histories, then you got um, the books of writing, and then the major prophets and the last 12 of the minor prophets. All right, I got to take a break. That's the end of our first session, so go ahead and get a cup of coffee, and I'll be right back. 